code. So we're supposed to codify our local laws. Right, Tim, if you can explain. So I gave everyone, we haven't codified our local laws in a couple of years, but I think we're supposed to, right? Okay, so this is an estimate, and I don't know if this has to be tonight or the future, but we need to codify these. So what, what, you, what, what she's saying is, because that's legalese. Sorry. <laughs> so when she's saying we have to codify in our code, we pass local laws. Um, as you all know, we've passed several local laws over the past four to six years. Um, those laws have to actually get codified, which means put in our put in the code, code book, book. Okay. Yep. and on our website. And apparently, and that's, I'm glad to know that because I've looked and I'm like, oh, that's they're not, not, it's not on our website yet. Yeah, they're not. And I just thought it was late. I thought they were just taking forever to do it. Um, but, um, so we, we absolutely should pay for um, the cost mm -hmm. of making sure general code um, codifies or puts our the local laws that we passed in our code and on our website. So the estimate was like 3,000 to 3,500, I think, to codify was in the estimate. Okay. So how do we, I'm just curious, do you pass? So we, we should just, we, we should put it on our abstract, probably in the next meeting. Okay. Okay, and then we can, we can audit the bill. Do we have the bill right now? Mm -hmm. Have you seen well, it? Well, it's an estimate. It's an I, estimate. So yeah. we would, wait, Jim's gotta look at it, and we can get it on the, get it on the making note of this, Alma? I know I'm not taking notes. <laughs> I just got this. Um, so they would. So general code just sent this general to me today. Code, yeah. So the local they law. would. So we have to agree to this. Yeah. Right? They're going to do the work, and then they're going to invoice us. Yeah. Right. So, so they once they invoice us, then it will go on. All right. right. So we can. Yeah. During the regular meeting tonight, we will do a resolution <clears> that <throat> authorizes um, us to enter into an agreement with general code mm -hmm. and codify it. We'll that, do that when? That's a night nice after. Day. In the regular meeting. Beginning in? Yeah. Oh. We'll be the business for that. Exactly. <laughs> Does everybody here have the uh, amended organizational meeting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got it right there. That's good. Yep. You all got it? That's all good. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. I guess we will do a uh, call to order for the uh, organizational meeting. First, Ms. Angeli. Yes. Okay. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah. All right. I want to make a motion to appoint Harris Beach as attorneys for the town to be compensated $40,000 per year. Per year. I'll second motion. Any discussion? Motion carried. Get the official vote on them, or should we just did, did you lose a vote? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. All those in favor? Hands high. All those opposed? Yeah. 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 Motion carried. Motion carried. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm a little ahead of myself. I make a motion to adopt the following procedure policies. Affirm the procurement policy. Affirm the investment policy. Affirm the scrap metal policy. Affirm the fee schedule. Affirm employee handbook, updated 12-12-23. Affirm the travel policy. And affirm the credit card policy. For a second motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Make a motion to set six hours as a standard work day for part-time elected officials, part-time employees, and code enforcement officer. Approve payment of postage, utility bills, health insurance premiums prior to town board audit. A second motion. 
a composition. Okay. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> I make a motion to make the following appointments. Eastern Shore Associates and broker of as broker of record. Don and um, Scromo Engineers, PLC as engineer of the town, MBT Bank and Nye Class as official <laughs> banks, Post Standard as legal <clears throat> newspaper, Veronica Wholetailing as web manager, subject to approval of 2024 letter of engagement, Net, Net Manage as IT manager, subject to approval of 2024 letter of engagement. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposition? Motion carried. Make a motion to motion for mileage reimbursement rate for travel for town business at 67 cents per mile. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to set the regular meeting date and time for the town board it will be the second Tuesday of each month at 6 30 in the evening. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposition? Hmm. Motion carried. Make a motion to appoint Tim Barrett as code enforcement officer to be compensated $58,344 per year. If I might add, this is a bit of a, in my opinion, very positive change for the town. Prior to that to tonight, if this comes through, we had a deputy code enforcer, enforcement officer. Tim is taking both roles. We combined the amount of money allocated to the deputy to add to Tim's salary. He, Tim, prior to now, had done the code enforcement officer work for six towns. He's reduced it to five. And as far as I'm, I'm aware that we, have, for the first time, have a very, for a while, have a very competent, capable code enforcement officer. And uh, so I think it's a really positive development yep. for the town. So anyway, in favor? I I'll second the emotion. Good idea. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Any opposition? Motion carried. Okay. All right. Make a uh, motion to appoint Nick, Nicole Reed as marriage officer. I'll second the motion. Uh, favor? Aye. 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 Any opposition? <clears throat> motion carried. I make a, mo a motion to appoint Deborah Rapp as deputy town clerk to be compensated $16 per hour, not to exceed $5,000 per year. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Make a motion to appoint Kim Memory and Ken Stevan as just, uh, Justice Court Clerks to be compensated $5,000 each per year. All in favor? I'll second the motion. I'm sorry. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to appoint Sue Smith as chairman of the planning board, Dave Tessier as chairman of the uh, zoning board, Phil George as chairman of the Environmental Conservation Commission, each to receive a stipend of $500 per year. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice job. Um, I make a motion to appoint Ray Randall as chairman of the board of assessment review to receive a stipend of $250 per year. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to set the stipend for each member of the planning board 
Zoning Board and Environmental Conservation Commission at $200 per year. I'll second the motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, make a motion to set the stipend for each member <clears throat> of the Board of Assessment Review at $125 per meeting attended. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a <clears throat> motion to appoint Will for Z to the planning board, term to expire 123130. I'll second. Before I further, I'd just like to add, I want to thank Roy Smith for his long uh, term and duty to the planning board, and we're thrilled that Will. Uh, uh, Another member of the farming community in town has accepted this role. Apparently, I, I don't know him personally. I know his father and his grandfather. And, uh, so it's a, it's a uh, uh, very likely a very positive addition. He's a very oh. good, very good appointment. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Make a po uh, motion to appoint Dave Hale to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Term to expire 12-31-28. I will second motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, make a motion to appoint Phil George, Stan Gorman, Martha Viglietta, Pauline Drexler, John Her Harrington to the Environmental Conservation Commission. Terms expiring 12-31-25. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a, a motion to appoint Dale Barber to the Board of Assessment Review, term to expire 123029. 30 29. 9 30. Oh, sorry, 93029. Got used to 12. I apologize. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> I make a motion. To the ethic committee, uh, I don't know, I make a motion to appoint um, Don Nugavara to the ethics committee and Elma Hartnett and Don Schla. Oh, so, so, so. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I uh, make a motion to appoint Sarah the guidance. Yes. Lucas. Lugus. Lugus. Exactly. Okay. I'm sorry for exactly. messing up that name. As as secretary to the planning board, uh, to be compensated at an hourly rate of sixteen forty per hour, up to a maximum of uh, twelve hundred per year. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Let's see if it's right. I appoint. Uh, make a motion to appoint Sarah. The the geese, the Judas, the Judas, the Judas, the Judas as secretary, we'll get it right eventually to the zoning, the zoning board to be compensated at at an hourly rate of sixteen forty, up to a maximum of nine hundred and sixty dollars per year. I'll second motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Make a motion to. Um, appoint town town supervisor to be the twenty twenty four representative to the. Oh, so, SEBA for communication purposes. I'll second the motion. All in favor? I'm sorry. Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carried. Uh, You're doing great. Make it, all right. Um, <laughs> now, do I do each one of these separately or do I just do all, each dot separate? Right? Well, uh, so. Technically, the deputy supervisor is appointed by the town supervisor, but um, certainly provide the board uh, with the blocks too. Uh, but he has that um, appointment himself in, in this case. Um, but I would do each of them separately. Okay. So uh, should Mark do the first one? You mean for the deputy? Like I said. We'll make a motion to appoint. Yeah. Oh, Let's do it. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Before we carry that, 
I am thrilled that Tom is, is, uh, is agreed to become the deputy supervisor. He has a wealth of experience uh, in town politics, and uh, we couldn't have a better person uh, and second in command behind me. So thanks, Tom, and motion carried. Next, but, but like you keep going with these appointments yeah, sure. with, with the supervisor appointments. I will make a motion to accounting firm of FJ Pompo and Company PC as accountant to be compensated fifty one thousand six hundred per year. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Another com comment I'll make. Uh, I've worked with. F.J. Plumpo for nearly 30 years, Jim's father and self. We are very <clears> fortunate <throat> to have such a qualified from representing us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, motion <clears throat> carried. Uh, next, a motion for Ruth Hotelling as historian to be compensated $1,780 per year. I'll second it. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Enough said about Ruth. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> thrilled to make a motion for Alma Hartnett as my personal assistant to the supervisor to be compensated $1 per year. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? <coughs> Motion carried, and I will add. It's volunteer. In my in my uh, year or so involved in Pompey politics, there's not anybody in town who does more for the town without asking for anything than Alma. Yeah. That's true. Thank you. Thank you. Back to me again. Mm -hmm. All right. I make a motion to authorize the, the, the following for 2024. 500,000 bond to for supervisor and town clerk and $50,000 bond for all others. Highway superintendent to spend up to $8,000 without prior approval, subject to procurement policy. Petty cash fund of $125 for town clerk, tax collector. Petty cash fund of $125 for justice court. Supervisor to spend up to $1,000 without prior approval. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carried. Uh, I make a motion for uh, appoint Bob Purcell as as deputy highway superintendent to be compensated his regular salary. I'll second it. All in favor? <clears throat> Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Just for the record, the highway superintendent, the deputy highway superintendent is, is a appointment of the highway superintendent. That's what I thought. But, <laughs> but it's, it's fine to give your blessing to that appointment. So, that, so that's should I have had just no, no, that's fine. Nope, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm sure you're okay with that, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to do anyway. I assumed it was on the paper, so I assumed that's what you want. No, that's good. You're good. Now we can adjourn the organization. So we adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn the organizational meeting. I'll second it. In favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned. We're 40 minutes. We will Thanks, sir. Welcome everybody to uh, this is another call to order for Poppy First Town Board Meeting of 2024. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Okay. That's the, uh, that's the first item on tonight's agenda is the adoption of, of rules of decorum. And Mr. Supervisor, so um, one of the things you have asked me to do is to, to, to um, come up with certain procedures um, so that the town board meeting can be conducted in a way um, which has some um, structure that you would like to say. Um, I put together a rules of decorum. Honestly, I didn't realize well, the town of Pompey already has a rules of decorum, but I, I put together a rules of decorum that are a little more detailed as it relates to certain aspects of the meeting. Yeah, and, and if I may, yeah. one, of, one of the things I'd like to remind everybody that, that I was informed by our attorneys is that town participation, and believe me, I want to know, we want to know what, what's going on out there. We want to hear the town. But we are not required during our town board meetings to actually have the town voice in unless it's a public hearing. Is that correct? Yeah. So I just want to remind everybody that, um, so, so we want to have a little bit more st structure around that. The other thing, if you if you read the new rules of decorum, which are going to be put on the website to, after tonight, or tonight, hopefully, um, paragraph five mentions the best course of action, at least initially to take, is to contact the supervisor's office. I live pretty close by. I, I want to more than open to hearing any issues, grievances, one on one. But would you have anything else, Tim? No, nope. no. But other than the rules that I put together are really a conglomeration of other towns that I represent, and I found the best practices. Um, if anybody has any questions about them, please let me know. I know some people, some of the board members did have some questions to ask me. Um, I think I've answered the questions that have been raised. So one, one last thing I'll add is shorten the time period for the comments by individuals to three minutes. Again, that said, I also know that sometimes it takes a little bit more time to articulate a thought. So that, it certainly doesn't limit that to that. And it, but you want to just keep it to the point. One, one last one last thing with those rules of decorum, if you read them carefully, uh, we need to, uh, and this is just observation from the past six to eight months of, of sitting, or you're sitting out there now, is we need to make sure we keep public comments to issues of the town. I mean, we'd love to all save the world, we'd love to all be able to solve the world's problems and the country's problems, but on this forum, it's the town issues. Um, so other than that, uh, and I'm, again, if, if there's an issue, please contact my office. Is that, could, could we, should we read? Well, read what, my question is, have you been changed since the original version that you had sent? Because we don't have them printed out in front of us. No. They're the same as they were. Yeah. Okay. So it's the original version. Okay. So, does anyone already right. get yeah. So everybody has gotten a copy of their right. right. And the email. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then read through them. Yeah, read through them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'd like to make it a motion that we adopt the rules of decorum as drafted by Tim for our meetings going forward for the town of Pompey. Second. <clears throat> Should we read it for the public to hear just so it's all read the whole no. should we or not on the website yeah. okay um and they certainly <laughs> make them available anybody else paper copy um and i think we dated them for tonight right so there was yes. dated for tonight which yes. is why i want to make All sure right. there was yeah. no change it's after yeah. we yeah. spoke so. i didn't know how that okay tonight, so okay I'm, so, does this replace the rules that yes. are on the site yeah. now? So we would remove those and replace them. Okay. Which, by the way, they're very consistent um, okay. with the rules that are already in place, except they're just a little more detailed as it okay. comes to certain aspects of the board. Okay. 
Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Um, and before we move on to public comment, Mr. Supervisor, um, one of the things we probably should do, because actually there were some people that weren't at the organizational meeting um, uh, that are here tonight, and I don't know if they're on the website, but it's, it's a good policy to, at the regular board meeting, also ratify the um, actions taken by the town board during the organizational meeting, which is here. This is the amended um, this is the organizational meet minutes and that is on the website. This will be on the website also. So we should maybe make a motion to ratify um, all of the resolutions that were passed at the organizational meeting that was um, held at my point. I'll make a motion to ratify the um, minutes of the organizational meeting. The resolutions passed by the town board. The resolution, resolution passed by the town board and <laughs> organizational meeting. I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Okay, next public comments. Um, let me see if there is any. Now, just comment before the public comments. I have decided the week to make public comments beginning as opposed to the end towards the end, just so people, or everybody has busy schedules, so they are able to have their, have their say early on instead of having to wait until the, the later on in the meeting. So that's why, if anybody's wondering why it's the beginning, that's my uh, rationale. So. So there's one person signed up, uh, Nancy Furdock, 7255 Sevier Road. Uh, so I, I appreciate the, uh, the offer you extended to contact you directly. Personally, for some things, I like the idea of a public comment. So anyone who might be present or listening can also hear the concerns of, of what we have to say. Um, I want to bring this to the attention of the, the new board. I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but um, my husband and I just built a new house over the last year or two or three. Um, and in, in the process between the transition from um, Mr. Larry Fitz to Brian Fitz, our assessment skyrocketed. And in the process of grieving that assessment last year, um, I went to look for comparables through the OnGov online image mate. Um, and and some of the, now I don't pretend to be super knowledgeable of how, how assessments work, but it, it was apparent to me that there are a lot of discrepancies in the assessments, the, 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 the level of assessments for various properties. I have a whole list that I can show you that I came up with, and a few of them I pointed out to Mr. Brian Fitz. And he agreed, he said, you know, this, this particular, these particular properties need to be readdressed to the point where there were additional living quarters built on the property that were never, it was never noticed and reassessed. Um, and, and I'm all for paying my fair share, but I feel because we built a new house, we were obviously more visible at the time, but people that are doing these things without the knowledge of the town are getting away with, frankly, highway robbery. Um, there's just on, on Syracuse.com, there's an 8,000 something square foot house on the market in the town of Pompey right now that's on the market for $2 million and it's assessed for $600,000. That just seems very off to me. Um, you know, but we're paying top dollar with with our assessment. So I want to make you aware and, and I want to understand what the process it would be for correcting that. Apparently there's software that's used to kind of, but I don't think the software is picking up everything that's actually happening. People, people have second uh, basement apartments with full kitchens and bathrooms that aren't, you know. If I may interrupt, yeah. uh, so an, an and again, I realize this is after tonight. Uh, 
but one of the, the other items on that rules of decorum, we want to keep the public comments to town related issues versus individual. Now, I, I, I know we're, we're, but it's kind of, we're, you're- Is that not town right now? Well, it's a little, you're kind of on the border between being an individual issue and a town issue, but I, I just want to make that point. But point taken about this. Okay. I don't I appreciate see it. it as individual. Isn't there a grievance? Pardon Isn't that what the- um, She went through grievance? the grievance with Brian already, correct? Yes, but it's not, I'm fine with what we're assessed yet. I'm saying- yeah, I, just, I, just, I just wanted to take that time to note that we want to lead discussion in this venue to town versus individual and yes. So I'm not talking about I, I my it. personal I, I appreciate it. Yep. Any other? Nope. That's the only person for public comment. Okay. So I guess we'll move on to the uh, continuation of the Public hearing on local law to repeal Article 8, Sections 165.44, Subsection D2 of the Town Code entitled Home Occupation, No Action Anticipated on This Local Law. Uh, this is continuation from last meeting. Um, and apparently there's no... Well, I think we, we can make a motion to reopen the public hearing and see if anybody in the public wants to speak okay. on it. We never closed it. Do we have to reopen yeah. it? Yeah, well, we adjourned it. Too. Oh, okay. I make a motion we reopen the public hearing for the uh, home occupation law. I right. second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? A motion carried to open the public hearing. Public, if anybody wants this. Okay, anybody in the public? I know there was a sign up sheet, but would anybody like to uh, answer the comments? Can I get clarification? Sure. We did not get comments back from the county. Correct. So, correct? We so cannot even if we close this, it will be reopened again. Then the public hearing could be closed tonight. Okay. Um, and then we can next month um, consider it um, after we hear back from the county. Okay. Okay. So I will. he doesn't know about other. I don't know. If we have. I mean, Never mind. Just continue. So what I so so the basis of this uh, of this home occupation is one, if if I may, to 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 uh, be able to for those that have been operating their home-based businesses without anybody, any complaints from neighbors, et cetera. We, the intent is we want to continue to allow them to do that. They're not, they haven't been a nuisance to anybody, but we also at the same time, for those that are starting businesses that disrupt the neighborhood, <clears throat> there are complaints. We want to arm Tim Barrett, the, the code enforcement officer. And so if, if you, our attorneys, can draft the correct ruling, and I'll let you take it from here, Tim and uh, Dave. Um, if you could do that. Yeah. All right, so it sounds to me like. Do one. What's that? No, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Let you say what you're okay, so it sounds to me like you're looking for some type of an expansion to the already existing grandfathering, for lack of a better term, um, component to um, the existing home occupation law that we've been reviewing, um, along with making it clearer what the process of people who want to run a home occupation in the town of Pompeii need to go through. Uh, that those are the two important things. That's my understanding. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Anybody disagree or? I mean, if, if you don't, I, you know, I, I think that you know it's trying to make you know establish a, a permit type process for ones that are, it could be 
invasive, but the emphasis should be on if they're not call, if they're not going to be invasive or problems with neighbors, with the emphasis more towards it being allowed than being restricted. Correct? Is that what? Well, I think it, it's one we we don't want to penalize people that have been in conducting their home based businesses without disrupting anybody in the community. But at the same time, give our town the, and our code enforcement officers some site type of clear process to. Uh, How do you know who they are? But just so I want to clarify what you mean by the term grandfather. And are we just making it so they don't have to do anything? Or are we making it so that they can just come in and get permitted? And as long as it's not totally something that's not supposed to be going out in the town, then they'll be granted the opportunity to continue. I, because if we don't have something established, those grandfathered businesses could just turn around and expand or do something else but yet they're grandfathered in. So if somebody's doing well, business here- If I if, may, the, it's, so those grandfather's business, if they become a problem, people, people have an issue with how they're conducting their business, we have a process in place to correct that. Am I stating that correctly, Tim? Or? Well, we have, we're trying to accomplish two maybe competing things and that's that's that that's what we need to try to resolve in our minds like right? uh, as we have said in the past right um if you're running a home occupation and you never follow the law in the first place then how are we going to handle that and even 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 in the cases where that home occupation has not impacted neighbors then we need to come up with a way to get that. prove that, show that, um, affirm that through some type of through some through something from that homeowner. So could, can so, we ask you to draft that, yes. and then we'll it's kind of tweak the sunset clause into something a little different. Am I yes. Correct. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Can, so we can certainly try to do that. Um, okay. I can't promise you we'll satisfy everybody. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to see any successful business here in town. I don't want to jeopardize their standing. Okay. It's not what this is about. If you're doing business here, you're doing business legally here. If you're doing a successful business that's not bothering anybody, continue. Okay. I'm just saying if we get it permitted, so, they go through the process, then wait, later on down the road, then we have <clears throat> to make Tim's job easier too. If we can get these businesses just permitted because they have not been a problem right. prior to a certain date, right. then Tim doesn't have to backpedal to try and get old businesses. Right. Up right. We can start. Like we can, we can say forward. you are conforming because we have these standards and you have met these standards and therefore we don't have to. Right. Um, we, we don't have to worry about them at this point yeah. if you expand and you do impact your neighbors then we have rules in place for you to get permission to do that expansion something along those lines is what so I mean. you're so can i instruct you to sure. draw that we'll, up and we'll yeah bring we it back yeah we'll we document. will bring it back next okay. month for review i think the public hearing is still open um and i, I don't know if i heard somebody anybody want to sign up to speak or raise your hand or speak. <laughs> 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 Hello, Craig Hurley, Olympic Center. I guess my question in relation to this proposed legislation is right, and I, I think Tim was trying very hard to hit the right tone on this, right? But so I suppose. My question would be, should you draft a piece of legislation that 
offers a standard by which businesses that are currently operating come out of the quote unquote darkness, right? And say, I'm doing this in my home. The laws that the town of Poppy might pass in relation to that could be superseded, right? By New York State Building Code and a variety of other things that could affect those people, perhaps. So I, I just don't know what, I don't know what the impetus is for people to say, I'm doing business, I have been, uh, my neighbors are complaining today, but maybe tomorrow he will be. Right. So what does that what's changed by that legislation? Can I speak, Mark? That's it. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, so last month we talked about something similar to this where again we're not looking to uh, uh, close down any businesses. And there's a lot of businesses out there that operate that the only way they're even going to come to our attention is somebody complains. Okay. This is just an avenue to get everybody that wants to be on record permitted to operate so that they don't have problems down the road. You know, so none of this has been about shutting anybody down. It's just about a tool to be developed so that our code enforcement officer has a leg to stand on if there's a, an issue, because right now there's really not yes. and that's all I got to say. Sorry. Okay, thank you. I look forward to reading the legislation. If there's Excellent. nobody else, we can close the public okay. hearing. <clears throat> all right, I make a motion we close the public hearing. I'll second it. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Make sure to close, Terry. We will try to have something drafted for the next meeting. Thank right, you. Well, we're going to work with the existing legislation. And the reason I say that is because if we can work with in that, then the whole process doesn't have to start all over again. We can, okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. It's next is our council's report. Okay. Um, I believe everybody has a copy of this month's supervisor's report and uh, bank reconciliation for December 31st. You did not get that. I emailed it. He emailed everyone. Okay. I emailed you and, and Mark. Okay. Um, what's there? Okay. <laughs> um, Those of you that saw it, <laughs> the uh, just as a just as an overview, the monthly report of the supervisor details the bank accounts that are owned by. The town, uh, excluding the town clerk, the tax collector, and the justices. And it details the increases and decreases for each of those accounts and the ending, both the beginning balance, so as of 11 30 23, and the ending balance as of 12 31 23. Uh, so we'll need a motion to adopt or approve the monthly report of the supervisor as of uh, 12 31 23. Do you think it'd be good if we saw it? I would think so. <laughs> I'm trying to say it. I, I don't know that there's can you run it? Is there a statutory requirement that she's gonna run it in okay. The report is says pursuant to section 125 of the town law three plus details in the I don't I don't so know. So Jim, I'm wondering if Renee you just, just print it and give it to all the board members. I would email it to you and I would email it to yeah, I always just print it and keep it in my file. So, yeah, she, but I'm never she this first. It. It's not her. I think maybe she prints it and just supplied it to all the board members. But now we know it's different. Whatever we need to do, I'll, I'll so take I can care print of it. Thank you. Can we also um, while we wait for that? Sure. So the next item was the bank reconciliation, which was also provided in that email. Um, so we have that reviewed and approved. So I'm reading the statute that you're referring to. Yeah. Um, section 125 of the town law. Does the supervisor show a prior, without prior audit issue and no judgment and so, so forth? as authorized by the town welfare officer and the reason the supervisor shall render to the town board at the end of each month a detailed statement of all money received and dispersed by him him for such month and shall file a copy in the office of the town clerk 
So there's no requirement for town board approval. I think it's a very good thing that we do do that. Right. And I this think- This is the supervisor report? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a good thing we do it. Um, I don't, if we don't do it tonight, I don't think it's going to be a fatal issue. Um, I think it's going off the turner rail. Okay. But um, the, the requirement is that it, file, that it be provided to the town board and filed with the town board. Okay. Um, so the bank reconciliation is also in that email. That now, um, in terms of activity last month, uh, mostly routine bills. In terms of cash receipts, uh, we received our last quarterly payment of the franchise fee from Spectrum. It was eighteen thousand seven hundred twenty-three dollars. Uh, we ended slightly below budget on that for the year. Um, I think we're down. Yeah, we're down about $1,300, so not a, not a huge sum. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> we also uh, received the last installment of mortgage tax for the year that came in on uh, January 3rd to 4th. That was $79,500. Um, that actually puts us below budget by about $19,000 year over year. Uh, yeah, $19,000 compared to budget. So, um, Kind of where we expected. Um, we had a feeling that we're going to be light, and I believe in developing the 2024 budget, we took that into account. Uh, interest income, we brought in another $7,400 this month. That brings the grand total across all funds to $107,333 of interest from the Nike Class account. So uh, I'd expect that to continue to remain high. We've uh, rates are going to start to tick down the course of this year so hopefully they stay relatively high for at least a few months um there are a few budget modifications which again were in that email uh, just three uh, there may be some next month depending on uh, you know, there may be some additional bills that trickle in over the um, next few weeks here for 2024 2023 expenses so um we need board approval for these. The first one is to cover uh, increased cost of mileage reimbursement for the town supervisor. Uh, we're over budget by about $47, so I got it up to $50. So we're going to take $50 from the contingent and increase the supervisor contractual line by $50. Uh, second is to account for higher tax collection costs, primarily uh, due to postage. Uh, postage rates were higher this year compared to last, resulting in uh, higher uh, higher expenses, resulting in us uh, resulting in us exceeding budget. So I'm proposing to take $350 from contingent uh, and increase the building's uh, contractual line uh, by $350. So it should be 16 to uh, Lastly, um, uh, sheriff's enhanced patrol costs are higher than budget. Um, I believe from the budget was developed, it's kind of shot in the dark. We have a, a really good number, so we're over budget by about twenty six hundred dollars. Again, we're going to take twenty six hundred from contingent and move it to line thirty one twenty point four, please contractual. Uh, Jim, is that something that we control as far as the enhanced police? No, they bill us. They so they want to control Route twenty and there's a, the Poppy Mall. There's a contract, just, and I don't I don't recall what it. Entails or how the fee is developed, but yeah. they, they bill us on a monthly basis. Okay. Um, we need individual motions for each one. I think I think one blanket motion would be sufficient. You don't want. Just take. Yeah. I don't want. Yeah. I don't want. Take five, two minutes. Do yeah. you have them written down? Just quickly. No. All right. What do you do? Make a motion to approve the budget modification for the mileage reimbursement for postage and the cost for the sheriff's department. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I did. We did go through this check reconciliation report. That, um, just to note on, on that sheet that you have for budget modification, yeah. it should be 1620.4, building's contractual, and that building's a budget. 
agent. Yeah, what did you say board? for my notes? Building what? Two chairs. Supervisors. The building's contractual, so it should be 16 and 20 points. Instead of equipment? Yes. Correct. yes. Okay. Yeah. It should be 1620.4, not 1620.2 here. All right, great. Yeah, so I I that's, that's my sheet. I wrote that in. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Anyway, again, I make a motion to approve the budget modifications for mileage reimbursement for the supervisor for $50, postage for $350, and the cost for the sheriffs for $2,600 as presented by Jim. I second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion for motion. Is that all for me? I'm missing anything. Um, we have to, we have to, to pay the bills. That's me, really, isn't it? I think so. Bells. Yeah. We have to approve the supervisor's yeah, report. Yeah, so we're going we're to make a motion to uh, approve the supervisor's report for December 31st. And the bank reconciliation for the town checking uh, for December 31st. Anyone have a chance to approve this? Mark, this isn't the supervisor's support. I don't have it. This is just the accounts payable. This isn't the normal like monthly supervisor's report. Would you email that to me or maybe him? And but he just got into his email today, so he may not have it yet. You may not have it yet. Can we act? So we'll, again. There's we no don't requirement for the right. town board to approve right. the supervisor's report. The okay. supervisor is required to submit the supervisor's report to the town board on a monthly basis. If you want you to do it between now and the end of this month, that should be satisfactory right. in terms right. of section 125 okay. of the town then board. We would just be making a motion for to approve the bank reconciliations, then, correct? Okay. And so moved. Right. Is your and then the email and supervisor also, Tana Poppy? The same as for Nice? Yes. Yeah, but he yeah, just, just got it. Just, just got it. I already did that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we did this one and then I just got his regular bank statements. Jim, if you send it, I can print it and give it to him. I, it was in that email, I sent you. Uh, there's five PDFs in there. Uh, one of which is where I support. We don't, need, we don't need, need to do it. We can do it next time. Yeah. If we don't need it, let's move on. Okay. I'll make the motion to approve the bank reconciliations. All right, I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion okay. carried. <clears throat> okay, so next we go on to the. Yes, me. Yep, so if everyone's had the ch uh, chance to review my draft, I'm looking for approval or acceptance for the December 12th meeting minutes for 2023. One okay. last thing, do we need to authorize the supervisor and be su supervisor to no. sign town checks or be done with that? See that, see that last item under oh, yes. um, God, I didn't, um Do we do that as part of and making sure that we pay all the invoices. I didn't put that on the agenda, so I'm not okay. sure what, what that is. Um, okay. So just question, I mean, your organiza or organizational meeting, when he appoints his deputy and his deputies on all the bank accounts, wouldn't that authorize Tom Henry to sign the paychecks? Yes. I don't remember that being. There probably needs to be a board resolution adding, adding Mark and the, the deputy yeah. as okay. uh, yeah. all <laughs> Are you an authorized signer yet? I don't. I, don't need to I am. I am. I'm currently a secretary. Yeah. 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 I already am. Yes. Yeah. So, 
So we should make a, we should make um, a motion to. to yeah, I'll make right, a motion to authorize town supervisor and deputy supervisor to sign uh, sign the contracts. That that um, um, way it was. In, no, she already. The last part we don't need. To do okay. All right. I'll second it. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Thanks. Aye. Okay. All right, now my turn. Okay. Yes. You guys are the cancer review my draft. I'm looking for acceptance. Before, before, we, I want, before we move on, I don't know if we had a vote here. So we we need you need to record the votes. Okay. And I, I didn't say anything. Okay. So you need to either say yes, no, or I am abstaining. I want I want to know under the discussion point in the past, was the deputy supervisor always an up? Or I sign her on the checking account. I, I presume they were. I don't know that for a fact, but if the supervisor is not available to mm -hmm. sign checks, I don't know how else we would do it. Don, Can Don I say in the four years Don, I've what? been here, the four years Don has off has has been authorized to sign paychecks. Okay. Yes. So Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Now we can get that. Now we can vote. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do it again? Sure. <laughs> I would like to make a motion to authorize town supervisor and deputy supervisor to sign town checks. And I'll second it. Any more discussion? I'm done. Sure. I am. <laughs> okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. There you go. All, all right. right. Thanks for clarification. For the third time. <laughs> An okay, for the third time. <laughs> if you guys didn't have the chance to review my draft from the 12 12 23 meeting, yes. I'm looking for approval for my meeting minutes. I make a motion for the approval of the meeting minutes. The 12 12 23 meeting. I was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. All right, um, bank reconciliation reports I distributed. I'm looking for acceptance of those for both the town clerk and the tax collector for December 2023. I make a motion to accept the bank reconciliation reports for December 2023 from the town clerk for the tax collector. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And the last thing is a motion for the payment of bills are two separate separate abstracts. One is for 13, which was the end of 2023 payment of bills. And abstract one is for 2024 payment of bills for January. So when you go through them, mm -hmm. there's a couple that have some changes. Okay. Um, okay. So the, we added to the bookkeeping one and there was an adjustment on a national grid one, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, that would make the adjustments on the, on the thing. Okay, so as amended. So as yes. amended. I'll make the motion we pay the bills as, um, on the reports as amended. Okay. Yeah. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Okay. That's it for me. Thanks, Pete. Yeah. All right, we are. Yes, sir. It's got two things. I have the 284 agreement for the expenditure of highway monies. And it's the agreement between the town superintendent and the town of Posse, Onondaga County, New York, and undersigned members of the town board. Pursuant to the provision of Section 284 of the highway law, we agreed the monies levied and collected in town for the repair and improvement of highways and received from the state aid or state aid for the repair improvements by. So basically, this is just a deal saying that the money that we collected for taxes, the money we get for state aid is going to go to our road repairs. And I need a board signature of two copies. Yeah. Upon approval, of course. You need to make a motion to that, right? Yeah. yeah. I make a motion we accept the, um, yeah. the highway yeah. superintendent reports. That's how you say it. I want to know how you want that word. Agreement of expenditure for 284 agreement. We just call it 284. 284 agreement. Okay. All right. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion on that? 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. And I just want to say one thing to start out here, Supervisor. Um, my in-laws from the West Coast were hardly snows. And they visited here through some pretty bad snowstorms, and they marvel at how great a job our highway department does clearing snow. Can't even believe it. We are so lucky to have such a great crew. Yep. And, uh, Anyway, I'll second that. Yeah, yeah. So I agree. Take how, it many copies, and, how many copies of these do you need? You got to sign two of those. You got two going over there, Mark. There should be. They're coming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the my last thing on the agenda is a quote to SW Services to replace the ancient and decaying gas pump that we have down there. That's probably forty years old. Uh, by replacing that, we'll be able to tie this in with our fuel pump we replaced last year. Everything will be digital, go right to the computer. It's gonna be much easier to keep track of things for sure. Um, I know we budgeted, I think you said 15 for it. Uh, I got a quote last September and I just got a new one. So it has gone up a little bit. The new price is 16,239.51. And this quote is based on source well. Number four 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 two three for the town of Poppy. We want to get this. I like to have board approval. The price goes up again. And yeah, uh, February there's going to be a price increase as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll make a motion that we um, approve and pay for. The pump and the digital controls on this program for BR for S and W services for sixteen thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars and fifty one cents. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, okay, I guess it's my turn. Just a couple of things, my item. Uh, Dave and Diana and I, they probably needed a lot less than I am, but just to let you know, we're, we're headed off first thing in the morning to uh, town officers training school in the next few days. So hopefully we're even more improved next time. But, uh, That's right. Uh, so I know that got approved uh, in the last meeting. Thanks, and hopefully we we'll come back even more knowledgeable on how to, how to run things. The other thing I want to mention, and I'm going to ask Jim to uh, intervene here. You know, we had the discussion about the supervisor's report, but, and I'm going to ask Jim to describe what that is. But I want to be make sure from day one we are as transparent as we can be the finances in the town because it's not our it's not our money it's, it's the town's money and after each meeting that gets presumably approved we are going to post that town supervised in a financial report on the town website so if you could jim explain what that is yep. to everybody the supervisor's report details for each fund the bank accounts that are held in that fund, and it, it starts with the, the month's uh, beginning balance. It adds to it um, any increases and subtracts from any decreases and reports the ending balance. It doesn't go into great detail as to what was what the money was spent on, um, but that's that's the supervisor's report is required by town law. <coughs> um, you know, over time, if we decide you know that maybe more information, it might be more beneficial to, to the general public. Which reports that we can provide that would uh, that would show more details to you know how money was spent. Great, that's right. And uh, thanks, Jim. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, my office is wide open. Uh, if you look at the town website, you can see my email address. If you have questions about that report when it's out there, I have an advanced business degree. I took fairly high level accounting. I think I'll be able to explain it. To you, so feel free to uh, ask questions if none of it makes sense or parts of it don't make sense to you. And I think uh, we're general code. 
Is it, Mark, we have one more issue. We have to ratify the, um, codify um, all the local laws from last year. Um, it's been the last couple of years. That's why I do. I haven't written out if you want me to make that motion. That would be great. So these are all, Dave, these are all the um, local laws that we've passed. Okay. And they have to um, Modify. Yeah. Modify. So I guess the, the question that I have is why are we codifying laws that were passed under a former board? Well, you're, you're actually general code is simply codifying, putting them in oh, our okay. code. We're not, okay. we're not approving them. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. They're already approved. They okay. already exist. They just have they've to be been been adopted. Adopted. Oh, oh, they've been adopted. Right, they just it. need to be put in the book. Okay. And there's a cost that, associated with putting it in the book. I'm going to add that word to my repertoire. Which one? Codify. I said it four times so that people are getting confused. We even have people who go online, they're like, um, I went on e codes on your website. That's not that's not on that's the website. Right. That's not like, what you're well, we're going right. to yeah, yeah. get to be. Yeah. Well, then, and if you could send them to be I will. Yeah, no. I for know. the past two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing this. This so, is great. So, so I make a motion. I make a motion to Oh my gosh. I make a motion to contract with okay. General Code to codify the local laws that have been passed since 2022. I second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Oh, I forgot there's a cost. <laughs> we'll see what the cost is when okay. this just, okay. you can mention the cost. How much uh, is estimated cost? Estimated cost between three thousand and three thousand five hundred. Okay. Okay. We'll make okay. that part of the right approach. Okay. 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 Start over. No. No. Okay. We got it. Motion <laughs> carried. Just make. I just want to make one. Just make it clear that the fact that the these local laws were not put in our code doesn't affect the local laws in any way. They are still valid local laws. Right. They've been filed with the Secretary of State. Um, that's what makes a local law a local law. So. Don't get confused into yeah. thinking that something is defective so, with the local laws that have right. been passed. So this just gives put us the ability put to put them on. online yeah. so, so that people can see it. Yeah. So people can see it and they're not confused when we say, okay. go to the solar farm right. law. And they're like, oh, they're way your solar farm down there. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we do yeah. have one. Actually, one last thing before we adjourn. Oh. Full disclosure here. Did we vote? I think they did. Pardon me? You voted on Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah we did. Um, this is not on the docket, but uh, we have two attorneys sitting there here tonight, and there's a reason for that. Um, Dave Capriotti will, going forward, serve at board meetings on behalf of Paris Beach. And Tim, we can't thank you enough. I know I speak for prior administrations. Board members here, we can't thank you enough for your service. Keep down here, Tim. Tim, uh, you want to articulate your plans, but Tim has is moving on to a different. Uh, you will different be missed. Well, yeah, yeah, first of all, yes. thank you for that. Um, I I started my career as a public servant, and I'm going to probably end my career as a public servant. I'm going back to the district attorney's office, um, but I, I have to. It's very bittersweet, obviously. Um, I really enjoy working with uh, the people of the town of Poppy. It's been a pleasure, and I'm really appreciative for the opportunity for me to do that. And I learned a lot. Um, and uh, I, I so have we. I will. I will miss you all very much. I may very much join you on a Zoom call one of these <laughs> for one of these meetings, just that. And I'll uh, watch what's going on. Yeah, we'll watch and, to make sure Dave's doing and, all right. Um, <laughs> I, I am always available. Um, anytime anybody needs anything, please, you all have my phone number and I'm available. Yeah. No, we're in good hands I, with Dave. Yeah, 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 you yeah. And you're, you are in good hands with One of the reasons why I actually went back to Harris Beach was to secure a firm that could handle my municipal plans. So I'm very comfortable and confident. Harris Speech will do a wonderful job. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just want to say thanks a lot, Tim. I know you helped me, you know, my first go round. I had no idea what I was doing, and I have a little bit better idea thanks to you. And I look forward to working with Dave Capriati and Harris Speech going forward. Um, it, it's going to be a 
It's going to be a great transition. Uh, welcome to the board, Kim. <laughs> Same. I have to say, I, Dave, I'm really looking forward to working with you. But Tim, you have been a wealth of knowledge. And I mean, as a new town clerk for four years, I can't tell you how many times I've called him and emailed him. And right away, he's here to help you. I'm here to help. Like, I would panic going, oh, my God, can I just... Honestly, like I will miss you very much. I'm very appreciative for all of your help. The last few weeks. Very kind. Very no, kind. So. I also will say I appreciate very much the explanations of things that I are not always understanding. Understand. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. It's Thank been you. A pleasure. All right. All right. And I guess we will now. We're going to yeah. we'll adjourn this meeting. I'm going to ask the board um, to remain with BR because there is a matter that we need to discuss in, a, in an attorney-client okay. privilege meeting. Um, it's not. A, it's not a, an. Ex, this is actually an exception to the open meetings law. It's not an exemption. So we don't. I don't want to keep Veronica. I don't want to keep Nikki. There will be no action taken. But there's a legal matter that we need to discuss with okay. the board under attorney-client privilege, um, so we can actually adjourn the meeting without okay. having to be open the meeting. Thank you, everybody, for. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Okay. All right, I second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. All right. Thank you. Thank you.